what would you like people to know that you don't think that Nigerians or those watching from the outside realize about the Southern Kaduna situation? What I would like people to understand is that the Southern Kaduna crisis is not a snapshot. It's been going on since 1980. Okay? And it is very complicated. And those that want to make flippant comments about it do not understand how complicated it is and what their comments may, may lead to. Um, the first crisis we had in Southern Kaduna was in 1980, and since then there have been 10 such serious crises. Part of the reason why we took a decision to publish the reports of the commissions of inquiry on previous crises is for those that are interested to read and understand that this is a recurring decimal. Okay, so that is one. To, not to look at it simply as a photograph from the Rwandan genocide being posted and saying this is Southern Kaduna and you get emotional and you think Christians are being killed. It's more complicated than that. That's one. Secondly, at the root of the Southern Kaduna problem is the indigenous settler question. It has nothing to do with religion. It is essentially an ethnic problem that by coincidence appears to be a religious problem because most of the indigenous are Christians, most of the so-called settlers are Muslims. Okay, so that's one. It's important to understand that. Thirdly, the scale of the killings is widely exaggerated. Okay? Even by a respectable organization like the Catholic Church that said 808 people had been killed, and when we challenged them, they said, oh, 808 referred to killings from 2011. But the first information the Catholic Diocese of uh, Kafanchan put out were that 808 people were killed. So there is also a lot of sensationalism from apparently reputable organizations. Okay, now every human life matters to me as governor of Kaduna State, and I will stand before God and be accountable for what I have done to prevent the killing of even one life. So I'm not saying a hundred is not important, but there is a huge difference between a hundred and two hundred, eight hundred and eight. Okay. Fourthly, fourthly, it is the wrong narrative to say Christians are being killed. Everyone is being killed. Okay. There is a lot of tit for tat killing going on in Southern Kaduna. Today, Fulanis are killed. Tomorrow, they carry out reprisal. The next day, counter reprisal against and so on and so on. So it's a spiraling cycle of violence that is very difficult to understand if you just read the headlines. Okay? Now, this context is important for you to understand because if, you, if we go through the reports of the commissions of inquiry, for instance, you'll find that at least two major crises in southern Kaduna happened between two ethnic groups that are essentially Christian. Okay? Gure Kahugu, crisis 1984, was between two ethnic groups that are essentially Christian, but they killed each other. Baju Ikulu in 2001 was essentially between two ethnic groups that were indigenous, indigenous to the area, Christian, and indeed during that crisis, even the Equa Church, which was the dominant church in southern Kaduna, became divided along ethnic lines. So it is very simplistic to reduce it to, oh, you know, one religion or one ethnic group is doing it. It has been a long problem. Let me, so, let me interject here, Governor. Um, my yeah. apologies. You made mention that the Catholic Church said 800, and um, you are saying that there are reputable organizations that have taken that number and wrong, and they're wrong. You are the governor of Kaduna State. Official numbers, how many people have lost their lives in the latest series of clashes starting from 2016 in Southern Kaduna? Well, I cannot give you an exact number because the police gives us a different number. Civil defense gives us a different number. And 
The Fulanis don't report when their own people are killed. They just bury them. organize reprisals. They bury them, they organize reprisals. So it's very difficult to give an exact number. And I, I do not think even the numbers matter. What matters is that people are getting killed. And as I said, every human being that is killed in my religion, I have to stand before God and explain what I did to ensure he was not killed. People so for me, every life matters. So I, I, I don't think it's an issue of numbers. I just gave you the example mm -hmm. of the 808 to show that it is wrong. The numbers of people that we've had killed, including our projections of those that have not been reported to us, is nowhere near that number. It's like one quarter of that number. Okay? okay. But I don't think that is the issue. The issue is no one should be killed at all. Let Every me, human life is precious. Let me follow up with that. There are those who have used the terms ethnic cleansing and genocide. You're sitting here before me. Do you agree with that terminology or those phrases to describe the situation in Southern Kaduna? It is not genocide. If it is gen you know, genocide is, is, this is the planned systematic murder of a group based on their identity. I have just told you that, you know, two ethnic groups or four ethnic groups have fought and killed each other in southern Kaduna in the last 37 years, and they are both Christians. So is that genocide? I think it is important for those that want to understand this problem to read these reports of the Commission for Inquiry. They will understand that these are essentially interpersonal conflicts that get elevated to communal level and get elevated to group and, and so on and so forth. So I don't believe it is genocide, but in the next two weeks, the Kaduna State Government is publishing a report that summarizes the history of this problem from 1980 or even earlier, puts context to everything, documents the numbers of people killed, and will even try to classify those killed by their religious and ethnic persuasion to see whether the narrative of genocide holds water. Because if you can, if, if, to prove genocide, you have to show that a disproportionate number of a particular ethnic or religious grouping has been systematically targeted. That is genocide. And that report will be published and will be online in the next two weeks, I hope. And it will be up to the Nigerian and global community to draw their conclusions. But the view of the Kaduna State Government is that this is not genocide. We have communal uh, crisis and we have to work in a three-step manner to solve the problem.